Corner Kicks A deadly weapon if done right. But you can probably also ask any football fan out there who will tell you that his team is shit at corners. And today we're going to take a look at how to take the perfect corner kick. Not so much looking at all the different tactical aspects, but mostly looking at the kicking itself. So looking at some of the best corner kick takers out there, I've narrowed it down to five different variations of taking a corner kick. There's the short one, there is the in-swinger, the out-swinger, there's the Ericsson, as I call it, a really hard dipping ball, and then there is the drop kick, going for the goalkeeper if he's small or insecure. And actually, interestingly enough, analysis from Manchester City trying to improve their goal scoring rate from corners found that the most dangerous variation is the in swinger going to the near post. And with that in mind, that's the one we're going to go and learn first. Here, you would typically shoot from the opposite side of your strong foot, which in my case would be the left side of the pitch. And actually, the in-swinging corner kick is a bit like taking a bending free kick because you also here need a slightly slanted and angled run-up. And then when you run up to the ball and you plant your standing foot, you want to make sure that it points slightly outwards towards the middle of the penalty box. Not straight inside because you don't want to shoot a straight ball. You want to get it out there and then curve back in. Striking the ball itself, you want to use this part, the front part of your instep, and you want to hit the ball somewhere in the middle, but a little bit on the outside, again, to generate the curve. And finally, you want to make sure that your follow through is powerful and you don't stop your foot to do the drop ball. And as we saw Man City found out, this is most efficient if you go for the near post or somewhere in the front of the area. But also, if you have some tall teammates who can really power through the header, you can also swing it back post. That is up to you. The alternative is the outswing, and where you go to the same side of your pitch as your strong foot. So in my case, the right side. And here you try to swing the ball in so it goes away from the goal, and more importantly, goes away from the threatening hands of the goalkeeper. But of course, it also means you put more distance between the ball and the goal. And your attackers are gonna have to put a new direction on the ball to create a chance but it's still efficient sometimes. What you do here is you use the same technique as the in-swinger, and then you try to aim between the edge of the five-yard box and maximum out to the penalty spot. And if you can help yourself in turning your upper body and really point at the spot you want to put the ball in, it's gonna be a lot easier. And all that's left is to put it on the head of your attackers. Then there's the Ericsson, or the topspin, if you will, which is super awesome if you can generate topspin and power at the same time, because it gets really dangerous as it doesn't need much interaction or flicking on to create a big chance. Technique-wise, it is a lot like the in-swinger, but you need to shoot with a bit more power and still hit the ball slightly on the side, but a bit higher up. And also, when you hit the ball, the second you hit the ball, you also do a slightly dragging up motion with your foot. It's not, it's not a lot, just a little bit to make sure the ball goes up and then almost come crashing down with a dangerous dip to create a really powerful missile. Now this technique is pretty difficult. I haven't gotten mine fully unlocked yet, but go practice and it can be very, very good. The last option is the drop ball, which is normally a cardinal sin for corner kicks, and I'll explain why later. But if the keeper is small or insecure, and you feel you have some big guys who can go in and unsettle him, it's actually pretty decent. What you do here is aim for somewhere in the five yard box, and then you go and you hit the ball pretty low, so you generate backspin, and also you make sure your follow through stops relatively quickly to generate the backspin and get this balloony trajectory so people have a lot of time to go into the box and hustle and bustle with the keeper and hopefully feed on the scraps and get the goal. You also want to keep in mind how you place the ball because for in-swingers, you might want to place the ball approximately in the middle of the curved line. Whereas for out-swingers, you might want to go a little closer to the goal line to make sure that the ball doesn't curve even further into the box than it already does. And also, your corners are going to be better if your teammates actually know where to run and where the ball is going to land. So try and develop some corner tactics and agree on some hand signs. Could be near post, far post, 
drop ball or something along those lines. And then just go to the pitch with your team or just bring some friends and whip in some balls that they can run into and put into the goal. And when you practice that enough, it's gonna be all automatic and super dangerous. But to get good, you need to, surprise, 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 practice. And you can do that two ways. One is to go out on your own, which is very recommended, and bring something, a target, blue man, whatever, that you want to hit. And here you can go through all the different techniques. And what you wanna do is start off working on your precision, and then you can always build power on top of that. But unless the keeper is really small or insecure, or you're gonna send up your skyscraper defenders to rattle him a bit, backspin is your enemy. So if you generate a lot of backspin or you do these fluffy balls, the keeper's gonna catch it or even punch it nine out of 10 times. And the same goes for more or less every ball that's inside the five yard box. It just has keeper written all over it. And finally, try to never hit the first man. Always get the ball over the first man, please. I mean, as a United fan, I know how frustrating it can be to see a team hit the first man again and again and again. So there you have it, my friends, the complete and absolutely unofficial guide on how to take the perfect corner kick. And hopefully it'll act as a guideline for you to develop your own deadly corner taking style. But what should we look into next? You should let us know in the comment section right down below. And after that, you should go and treat your feet to a pair of the Mizuno Marillion U2 made in Japan that I've been rocking all the video. And you can go and get that from our store via the link right over there. Also, don't forget to go subscribe with the notifications on to get a little bling every time we post a video so you can be one of the first people to watch it. And finally, go learn some more football skills right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.